Let's join Ryan Mohad, lead for global health security at the World Economic Forum. Ryan, today we saw coordinated action by central banks, including the Federal Reserve and the Bank of Japan. Is the scale of the pandemic and the economic fallout too big for any one stakeholder to address? Hi, good evening. I think you've said it just perfectly. That's exactly what we're hearing that given the scale of this emergency, that responding to it and flattening the curve, reducing the, the length of this pandemic and reducing the, the magnitude of its disruption is going to require cooperation at a, a scale and a speed that we haven't seen before and by everyone, by governments, by business, and certainly even by individuals. Ryan, we've been fending off global recession for the better part of the past year. How big is the risk now of a global recession in the coming weeks or months? Well, I'm afraid I can't predict uh, sort of how big the risk is of, of a recession. Uh, but I think what everyone is looking to see is, and, and we talked about, and we've just talked about the uh, cutting interest rates, but I think the rate that everyone is concerned about is seeing a reduced rate of transmission of this virus. And once people start to feel safe, uh, and that their livelihoods are protected along with their lives, I think we'll start to see uh, a bit more of a resilient economy. We'll start to see us return back to normal. But that's really what's on everybody's mind. Ryan, let me get your, your take on the issue of pandemic bonds, because there's been some chatter about this one, especially since the Ebola outbreak and, and when pandemic bonds didn't mm -hmm. pay out anything. Uh, they're under fire now for not handing mm -hmm. out funds quickly enough uh, to developing economies what do you make of this are these bonds a little too you know a little too little too late in a sense you know we've already met several of the criteria necessary the number of countries the number of of deaths involved so what's going on with those bonds Yeah, that's right. And certainly there has been the chatter. And I think we should also keep in mind that the World Bank has just recently historically mobilized several billion dollars, I believe $12 billion to support the response. But one of the things that the pandemic bonds that the World Bank has uh, really highlights in my mind is really how little we were doing as an international community over the past several years to prepare for a pandemic. And in a way, the fact that the World Bank did organize around the pandemic emergency financing facility and those bonds only illustrates how little was done. And it's certainly the case that those bonds haven't delivered the way everyone would have wanted to. But it was one, of, one thing that was attempted before this pandemic hit. And frankly, I think it's clear now as a community, we should have been doing a whole lot more uh, long before that. All right, Ryan, thank you very much for sharing your insights with us this evening. We've been speaking to Ryan Mohad, their lead for global health security at the World Economic Forum.